Daniel Rand is a martial artist. It's kind of like Marvel's version of a toned down Dragon Ball Z character. Can enhance his spiritual energy into a fist with energy. Enhance his punches. The iron fist punt. One of the main reasons why you see people that cannot level cities actually fight him is because he's not using his iron fist punch. But when he decides to use his iron fist punch, he can destroy robots. He can literally punch through sharp stuff like Scythe's blade, saying his fist becomes like iron. Blade no more. Not fully charged, he can cleave through steel. Punches his being on this triple iron into a section of a wall, collapsing it. He can punch through elevator door, literally breaks these iron manacles, and damages a statue in the process. 30 ton statue, by the way. There's this robot that's bulletproof. It's not bulletproof to the iron fist punch, though. Breaks down steel door, making it to molten slag of the crumbled door. Bulletproof glass gets shattered, gleaming metal glass. He isn't human. His chest is made out of some kind of metal substance. Yet when Iron Fist punched it in his chest, he made him sleepy time. He can literally stop a train with his Iron Fist punch. The train is stopped. Another occasion of punching through solid steel. Sorry boats, y'all gotta go. He was able to punch open a vault that was able to endure half the force of the blast that leveled Hiroshima, a nuclear bomb. Yes, this same vault with the punch punches it open with the iron fist blow kind of proof that he can punch stuff that has city shattering levels of durability and as you can see the explosion is massive breaks free from a mystical pod that had him in prison because he's just that strong he collided with nitro with his fist punch creates a massive explosion look at all that and why would a shark even try to withstand an iron fist punch y'all did and a collision with davos causes all of this impact shatters a concrete platform yeah punches through a helicopter never collide two iron fist blows with one another or your cause bridge leveling explosions he punched luke cage so hard with the iron fist that he sent him through a building collapsing the building letting you know he could easily destroy buildings if he felt like it he gets fastball special, literally gets thrown, and destroys a large aircraft. He's already a very mystical spiritual type character. Yes, he can even absorb energy. Speaking of absorbing energy, the train is experimental magnetic levitation. Frictionless efficient made possible by electromagnetic suspension. I extend the chi of Shaolao out from my fist and I find the electromagnetic fields the train generates. It takes a moment to learn to use it to give myself over to it, to allow myself to be drawn to the thing, to allow my chi to flow into the massive electromagnetic current the train generates to get swept up into its undertow and to finally be fired, he's a human bullet. This same train is loaded down with enough raw explosive to make Hiroshima look like a sparkler. Yes, the Hiroshima nuclear explosion, the overpowered one. Only way was to destroy it before it destroys us. All of this energy, as you can see, seems to be fine as well durability wise death battle thank you for the calculation by the way calculated that he could have 10,000 times the power of the little boy bomb they estimated that him being able to survive all this energy from this train explosion allowed him to be able to endure 150 megatons of tnt which is 150 million tons of tnt you respect iron fist yet he can smash a helicarrier to smithereens. You know how massive helicarriers can get. That's his little body doing all that punching. To this big old structure. And if you Google how much a helicarrier could possibly weigh, there have been estimations that a helicarrier can weigh over hundred thousands of tons. And this is the type of stuff Iron Fist can smash apart. That's totally believable if he can withstand nuclear explosion type stuff like the Hiroshima stuff. He can also control the power of which how much power he uses with the Iron Fist. That means just because you like match his Iron Fist punch in a comet doesn't necessarily mean you like have the power to blow a city away you know he can control the amount of power he uses he can fight characters like Rady. yes can even stand his attacks stated he hit him with his most powerful fire blast and you're still alive showing that he has durability to withstand a lot of punishment with this chi manipulation as well this same guy's power was measured to be in the hundreds of megatons he's a walking hydrogen bomb and he's fighting on par with this being his punch was compared to a hydrogen bomb that makes sense with all the city shattering stuff I already showed you. So if Iron Fist decided to ball up his fist and launch his punch at you, he could blast the whole city you're standing in, literally blast it away if he wanted to. Like, that's how much force he can produce. He launches Batroc back with his Iron Fist punch, a guy that be fighting Captain America, broke free of Spider-Man's weapon in this occasion with Spider-Man, gotten in tussles with Iron Man. He's gotten in tussles with even the Thing. 
colliding blows with him thanks to this iron fist punch this iron fist punch can kind of help him bridge the gap to people that might be physically superior there's this fight iron fist fighting this guy named ninja a skilled warrior the dimension itself was on the verge of collapsing it eventually does collapse it states right here for when the center of the universe died how can the universe itself continue he was hurled from this dimension even as it crumbles around him just in the nick of time massive explosion it does have some totally over the top mystical martial art type stories and battle that should indeed be respected you see all this mess commotion going on threatening to destroy the city of kunlun iron fist can literally create a like a literal dragon like construct chi can work to cleanse the body of infection you've already incurred he can even heal himself from near death being reduced to a freaking skeleton this is like some wolverine levels of healing factor i want to add that this was a timeless dimension so he didn't need to wait a whole bunch of time for his healing factor to kick in that could be part of the reason why he was able to heal from a skeleton so fast because they were in a literally a timeless dimension where time passes differently so that could be the reason why he could heal so instantaneously literally knocked out luke Cage. he even said he pulled his punch and he still knocked him out he could have said he could have knocked luke's head straight off there was like a simulation this isn't the real characters right here he punches through spider-man in this simulation he's even knocked out folks with spider power and another occasion getting the better of luke cage he even fought this clone of thor ragnarok with his iron fist punch when it comes to daniel or some will call him danny he was the son of wendell former inhabitant of the mystical city of Kunlun and Heather Rand in an exhibition to return to Kunlun, another member, Harold Meacham, killed Danny's parents in a bid for control of Windows Company and left Danny for dead. Dark, right? Not a superhero without a terrible backstory, right? That's where all the good stuff happened after his parents got destroyed. He got trained by the inhabitants of Kunlun, which is why he was able to go through the trials with the dragon, and that's how he became Iron Fist. And the training started at a very young age to train his body, strengthen his spirit, very young as he got older. They were punching a bucket of rocks to help their fists get more durable. And to become Iron Fist, he literally had to fight a dragon. Shalal the Undying. How do I defeat a creature that cannot be killed? So that's when he realized he had to hug the dragon with this little area right here. For it was through that this scar that Shallow's heart was taken, through this sword that the Undying One received the mystic emanations that internally sustained him. And if those emanations were to be somehow blocked off by a body, perhaps, by your body, the heat pouring from the scar, almost unimaginable, though could feel the flesh blistering on your chest, claim your reward. Interesting trials. Really love the anime-ish type of feel to it. He's one of those characters that get stronger as time goes by throughout different adventures. Like how at one point in his career, he absorbed the chi of another Iron Fist, gaining even more power. Don't you love the character progression? He even later went through some special studying from the Book of the Iron Fist. More knowledge. He literally studied the history of the Iron Fist made from the scales of Shaolau himself. That's why it glows when they touch it. The secrets of their Kung Fu from the very first Iron Fist to the one who preceded me. All of their Kung Fu. With the Iron Fist Punch, he far surpasses the Super Soldier tier ranges when it comes to just raw punching power output, I would say. The guy countered magical blasts with the Iron Fist. He redirects Steel Serpent's death blow. He can use both fists. He can charge his fist in two tenths of a second, meaning he doesn't have to concentrate that much. Spam it. He got in this little scuffle with Hulk here. His normal martial arts is ain't cutting it. He even says he can't dodge Hulk's blows forever. His Iron Fist can quote unquote mesmerize beings like the Hulk and make him turn back to normal. I guess they're soothing, I guess. And they don't make him angry. Because he was going to try to attack the Hulk with these Iron Fists in both his hands. Thanks to his spiritual connection and Iron Fist nature, he's immune to the Spider Plague. Can heal others from the Spider Plague. This event when everybody was turning into Spider character or actual Spider. I mean, he healed bruises from battle this one time. See that? No bruises. I heal. Heals the vision, even though vision isn't technically flesh and bone. He wards off insect stings. Can supposedly absorb magical attacks. Burst energy blast attacks. I'm talking full-blown energy blast. He can pick up stuff like this scrap metal and infuse it with chi. Fragments of the communicator burn with the chi of Dragon Shao Lao. Imbues a sword with chi. One can say enhancing the sword to make it cut even harder than before. He mastered the hypnotic fist technique, which can hypnotize folk. He knows this Zen trance techniques can reduce our body's energy output to almost zero to help them not freeze to death, to beat the cold. Without his iron fist punch, he still can punch, strike, or hit inhumanly strong, like kicking his light post down, like kicking this reinforced steel door, breaking a steel girder, kicking a freaking tree in half, chops a gun in half, shatters a baseball bat, he took out a wolf, smashes two machine guns, 
free Spider-Man from restraints. I mean, his kick flipped over a car. He can also channel the Iron Fist through his feet. By the way, Danny can use a, a large assortment of different type of weapons because he's just skilled in all that. Danny actually fought this fire guy. This being known as the One had converted the Rand Tower into a nightmarish new Kun Lun by siphoning Chief from Kun Lun's citizens. The One needed Danny to access Shao Lao's Chief for him. The One literally tore it out of him. The One used the Chief to break the barriers of heaven and earth to bring Danny's deceased mother into the world of the living. But instead something monstrous came through. Yeah, Iron Fist getting kind of cosmic in this thing. Talking about where is she? Where is my wife? Out of my way, she waits for me. Yeah, blast it back. This being is Zhao Rung, God of Fire and Garden of the Universal Order. Like, just look how big he is compared to freaking buildings. Like, literally look at the small people and look how big this fire guy's eyes is. And look at all the energy he can evidently produce. Like a large radius too. Look how it looks from the surface of the earth. New York City police really trying to fight this thing. It's powerful enough to easily destroy helicopters, incinerate it, make area of effect that can be seen from the surface of the earth that wide, and look how all of that looks. This guy, Iron Fist, literally became an actual building to combat against this guy. Got in a slugfest with this being, building sized being, challenged the gods. He can feel the chi coursing through the building just as it courses through my veins. The people of Kunlan around me, inside me, feeling my every action. Like, the action of this, producing the action. I am the living heart of Shao Lao. Freaking massive stakes, punching him back and everything. Through buildings and everything. But unfortunately, this form was not enough. He can't move, he states. He is paralyzed. Yeah, literally got pierced through the head of this building, got pierced. Body spills the monks of Kunlun like blood, like all of them, yeah, fell out of the building, which is helping him out. Looking kind of hopeless right now. Look at the size difference between Danny and this fire god being. Look at the buildings. I would even say this isn't even an accurate size representation because we already know he's big as buildings. But yet with the iron fist punch, it's implied he defeated him. This is what it shows. He produced so much energy, evidently incinerated the clothes he was wearing, though. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Iron Fist stuff aside, he has straight up fought Sabretooth. It doesn't look like there's no chi enhancing punches in this particular occasion. So he can just, yeah, he's definitely in that super soldier tier physically, even without no Iron Fist enhancements or chi enhancements, I would say. Occasions like Sabretooth suggested. More occasions like this is him throwing a bus seat. He can physically lift it up with just raw physical strength with no chi enhancements. Even holds up a street wall. Yes, strength. Literally throws two men restraining him off of him. You think that's normal human level? Literally restrains a tiger, takes down this door, catches a sword strike with skills and kicks him away countering. He's superhumanly fast too. He says the world seems to drift by in slow motion. It's stated that nobody can move that fast. Literally speed blitzes through goons before they figure out what happened. Didn't even realize what had attacked them. Stated, slice up dozen of guys before the first one even knows he's been hit. Quickly turns around to blitz and hit attackers. Blitzes the living heck out of these goons showing his fighting ability and skill he's dodged energy blast before or one could say dodge energy attack it's stated only a high speed camera could catch the speed of his kick dodges sword strikes that move at eye blurring speed literally aiming a gun at him blitzes them before they can pull the trigger speed disarms goons before they can shoot there's just too many occasions of dodging gunfire type of occasions. The guy weaves through automatic fire. Stated, seemingly faster than the eye can follow. He dodges and weaves to the side, evading each deadly projectile by fractions of an inch. In the next instant, strikes back. Hopscotching around these people blitzes. Too many occasions like this. Yeah, y'all gonna get the pattern. Leaps through it. Dodges it on too many occasions. Even pushes somebody out the way of gunfire. You guys learned yet? He's a surprise attacks he dodges. Narrator talks about his splendid reflexes. But even as the bullet leaves the gun, Iron Fist moves, they state. And so makes a mockery of the gunman's speed. Dodges stuff this close to his head. Yawn evading again. Evading gunfire, even avoiding punishers. Dodges a close range pistol. Notice the blur effect. Yawn dodges again, pretending to be Daredevil. He moves his hand to intercept a bullet. Literally caught a bullet being fired through the window. Dodges gunfire yet again. Evading all this gunfire. Avoids close range gunfire. 
y'all get bodied. I like that he can fight huge creatures like this and just spam the Iron Fist punch a whole bunch of times. Blocks all of these attacks. Stated nobody can move that fast. Just slap them away. He's not even scratched. Combat speed. Looking like a blur here. Dodges crossbow bolts. Avoids arrows. Caught an arrow out of the air. Caught Electra's side. The fact that Spider-Man acknowledges his speed. The same Spider-Man that has dodged lasers, like this guy says, the speed of light is on his side, yet Iron Fist was still praised by this same Spider-Man. Like, this guy's literally shooting lasers at him and Spider-Man is avoiding. Anyway, on this occasion, he rolled with his punch to help absorb the impact, like in Spider-Man. This one time, he only had three hours of sleep, was still able to fend off attackers regardless of it. Team No Sleep. Uses Iron Fist even when one of his arms are messed up. Get pushed. Literally got his back messed up. Despite all of this, he has enough willpower. to kind of messed the dude up that did it to him in the first place. Come back on this beam. Combat, martial arts, Iron Fist, all that stuff put to good use and put together. Notice how he can use Iron Fist punch on his kicks and his punches. Diamondback was the guy that did this to Danny. Jessica stepped in to help after Danny got his back hurt. Yeah, Jessica's a beast. Help. Back with the Iron Fist punches. Makes him go night-night. I've been kind of making it seem like he's only just raw power. When it comes to just raw skills and etc. He's still one of the best of the best. Danny can tell a lot about you from your stance. Compare without his iron fist blows with his hands. He has raw skills that can battle on par with characters like Shang-Chi, basically the Bruce Lee of Marvel, one could say. They consider themselves masters of martial art. He can put you in holds if he has to, like Colleen for the ex his example. Flips one of the members of the Wrecking Crew, Bulldozer. Pop the Pile Driver's ear. He can use Daredevil's Baton if he has to. He can get around your telepathy. People that can know what you're about to do before you do it with Drunken. No more forewarning. He can use a mix of different styles. He even thinks true martial art aren't about the perfect style it's the combination of styles that make you perfect even stated his forms are perfect hitting combos with him even has extra weapons on his back these long behind batons he is not afraid of using even fighting waves and waves of folk he's still proficient with them look how long these things are reminds me on some goku power pole type stuff did i mention that he actually knocked out a tiger and has fought Spider-Man before. He's great with nerve pinches. Knocking people out with these pinches or nerve strikes. Pressure point type stuff. Heck, can even disarm you. Not to mention he knocked out Misty Knight, Night Knight. Unyielding pressure. Characters like Elektra even respect his skills. And even when the war machine is invisible, he can hit him. With the purpose of him fighting while blindfolded. A titanium plated armor. No problem, I'll just hit the joints. Redirects fired plasma bolts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has ninja skills. Sneak attacks goon. Disappears using ninja skills. Skills, disappears from view literally fought the wrecking crew huge w here in this occasion he's consistently fighting fast characters like daredevil who is faster than you think the same daredevil that can react to things in a microsecond which is one millionth of a second yet iron fist danny Rand can fight react die in fights against him pretty consecutively had a pretty extended fight with strong characters like saber tooth and getting wins and battling the man himself spider-man in one-on-one -on -one combat you got to respect it the two man the myths fighting it out but they got cool though he wins a fight with misty knight without much trouble he fought a brainwashed colleen wing she wasn't in her right mind, but it ended up working good and everything was good at the end. Debatably one of the best fighters on planet Earth, Shang-Chi. They had an extended fight and skill. Got in a battle with Captain America himself without getting one shot at showing that he is in those super soldier ranges. Anytime he tries to use the iron fist punch, Cap uses the shield because otherwise I don't think Captain America is on par with an actual iron fist punch. The shield is the equalizer to help redirect the energy. Even Captain America notes it. He can't afford to get hit with that raw energy. Better move fast before it hits him. He's on par with Captain America's base strength without using no chi, but if he uses chi, he surpasses Cap. Even after that, he still sent him flying pretty far. Respect it, right? It's only natural. He's fought the Wrecking Crew on more than one occasion. One occasion getting a W. And on other occasions getting a loss in the end. The power of Shaolau the Undying is pitted against that Carnilla the Queen of Norns. We got overpowered here. He's got a battle with Black Panther. Black Panther is one of the few people that can eat his attacks because of that ridiculous suit. I would say they go at it. Still, I would like to see this fight animated if I'm being completely honest. I mean, Black Panther is one of the few people that can match him in skill. Iron Fist can kind of cut loose against him. Him thanks to armor such as this, it just makes sense, right? Even kind of messing up his armor, both end up falling out. Fought with a mind-controlled Shang-Chi 
two of the best fighters in Marvel, I would say, and a couple of lesser known ones too. It's pretty extended and indeed entertaining. Pretty long, extended battle. Respect all of that commotion. Has a straight up battle with Elektra. The fight's pretty close when he's holding back his Iron Fist ability, showing that he's in them Super Soldier tier ranges. Elektra is in that Super Soldier ranges as well. Back and forth, leg locks, arm locks, slams, knives, windows getting crashed through, counters, kicks. As you can see, messes his hand up there, but when Iron Fist said, time to power up and stop playing around, he can blow her away with ease. Then that's when the fight pretty much becomes a one-shot mismatch type thing. I hate off-panel fights, but it's implied he defeated Colossus off-panel. Wait a minute. Did he knock him out off panel? Like, what kind of defeat was this? That's a vague defeat, you know? I mean, he's even got his movements compared to Shang-Chi before. He spars with Wolverine, another Super Soldier Plus tier. One could say he's even higher than Super Soldier tier. Captain America even has his opinion about Wolverine. Yes, Captain America literally made a power grid of what he sees his opponents like. And you see Wolverine right here. Captain America describes this group of augmented strength, highly skilled, unarmed combat. These group of guys not only had super strength, they know how to use it to its fullest advantage. These opponents were the all-around toughest to beat. He's even sparred with Invisible Woman in combat. Part of the reason why she's such a skilled fighter. Spars with Power Man, Luke Cage on plenty like this. Spars with Colleen Wing. Yep, just standard martial art stuff. And he teaches his own yoga class. Takes down a buttload of people <laughs> by himself. They can't even land no hits night, night. Even S.H.I.E.L.D. agents have to go to sleep. His Iron Fist Punch can somehow take down a drunken Hercules. Please make that make sense. It's the same Hercules that can lift the heavens, yo. And the same Hercules that be rivaling Thor in power. The same Thor that's consistently a match for freaking Hulk. I know he was drunk, guys, but we already know he can blow away multiple cities with ease. But what is his true potency of his punch? Could he be considered a low-tier powerhouse? Tier? Is that reaching? I mean, he did punch a, a Hulk son like Scar backward thanks to the Iron Fist punch. Look at all that power he can produce. Even in the earlier days, he punched out Nightcrawler. Same with Wolverine. And even punched back Colossus. Him and Davos collide in their attacks makes a large skyscraper building explode with the kicks of each other. There was this time when Daredevil was amped beyond belief. Way stronger than he would usually be. He's called Shadowland Daredevil. Was he was possessed by a beast thanks to the hands doing mystical stuff on him and stuff like that. This Daredevil was able to survive lethal blows from Wolverine. Stuff that would normally kill him. Laughs off Hellfire from Ghost Rider. Proceeds to drain Ghost Rider of his Hellfire were depowering him destroyed bullseye completely in hand-to-hand -hand combat i mean look what he did to ghost rider with a single kick goodness fighting them all at the same time iron fist spider-man everybody is finished but guess who's still able to punch the literal demon out of him with his iron fist blow I'll bid he had to do it while he was distracted. Do this. It's stated about Chi, it's life force that's which destroy can create. It wasn't meant to harm him. It was meant to heal. Wakey, wakey, Matt. What? It's a lot more to his Chi properties than expected. And yes, he has got his opportunity to fight in the actual dragon. Very huge too. This particular dragon is stated to be a few thousand years more powerful than the last dragon he's faced. But back then he didn't master the power of the Iron Fist. So this should even the odds. Good night, old gal. And if you want more lore, they even explain the stuff I just said. How he can summon his chi and focus it into his hand and can activate the latent power derived from the heart of the mystic serpent and make his fist inhumanly powerful and impervious to pain and injury. The Phoenix Force and the Iron Fist people seem to have some type of lore or history together. It stated, the Crimson Heart, the Dragon's Fist, repelled the Phoenix of life and death, preventing the celestial rebirth of Earth and collapsing the seven capital cities. When Namor was possessed by the Phoenix Force, or a piece of it at least, Iron Fist did a strong behind Iron Fist punch like this to him. Didn't KO him or nothing, just something I had to put in the video. You get to kind of see some connection between Kun Lun, Iron Fist, and the Phoenix Force. Hundreds of years ago, it's real, a force. Phoenix Force Iron Fist fist in present day the phoenix force is headed towards the earth the avengers believe that it is a destructive force that will lay waste to the earth while the x-men believe it's a force of rebirth this is not the phoenix's first visit to earth centuries ago there was an iron fist who was the vessel for the phoenix new iron fist is out here this is years ago by the way a phoenix rises in kun lun Phoenix came to Earth centuries in the past when the Cosmic Force came for a young red-headed girl under the tutelage of Master in the mystic city of Kunlun. 
Danny Rand Iron Fist has gotten a battle with an evil demon. Mara, they are surrounded. He uses batons. They put in their work together. Blocking swords between his fingers. To make giant fist-like avatar constructs. Punching this being Mora down. And cleaning utensil. That's funny. A state, only the powers of a chi dragon can penetrate its armor. They are fighting a chi demon. Only the powers of a chi dragon can do it. The size difference between them and these different creatures, it, yet yeah, it doesn't matter. There was this time when he was fighting a guy known as the One. He got struck down in their fight, of course. Went through all these floors. Half a dozen floors later, body battered. The people of Kalung strung up like light. Their chief fed into a hatching of Shao Lao. And then I see Brenda, see the little girl, monk girl. The guy he was fighting was using all these beings from Kunlun, that many, as literal batteries stealing their chi. Then he said, why don't you try to take some yourself? Take the living, take their chi, take their dang life. This is where he basically got a new form. So you basically got base form. That's a lot of body of energy. No telling how much more powered up than before he is right here. Like a skeletal powered up deity. I would love to have a multiplier for Marvel to give for this form though. Famous temporary power up that Marvel likes to do. He can easily punch apart cities or blow them away. One could debatably say he's planetary with his feats with the higher tier characters like a drunk Hercules for example. Supposedly defeating Colossus off screen, even though we don't really know if he KO'd him or not off screen. He can punch with way more force than that of nuclear explosion. Even his durability can be enhanced to such levels. He has a few showings that aren't necessarily inanimate object busting feats that could suggest that he is in the near or low powerhouse ranges. Matching blows with the thing. Supposedly defeating Colossus off screen. Knocking out a drunk Hercules. Fighting Black Panther and messing up his suit. Supposed to be vibranium. Punching back Scar here, Hulk Sun. Punch Phoenix Force Namor this one time. Consistently shown to be Super Soldier tiers like fighting Elektra. But then he shows he can instantly surpass a Super Soldier tier by instantly one-shotting a Super Soldier once he turns on the Iron Fist. Showing that he actually has to hold back his Iron Fist punch while fighting Super Soldier tiers or they would just get blown away. Even Captain America says better move fast before he gets hit with that Iron Fist strike. Captain America has to block it with the shield. What do you guys think? How strong do you think Iron Fist is, especially with that Iron Fist punch? How strong is Skeleton Man Iron Fist when he absorbed all those energies from the different Kunlun folk? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Thank you all that have donated to the channel. It helps out a lot, and I will see you later.